What's up, guys? This is Nate from KincaidTech.com. Are you frustrated with your Fire Stick going to sleep and then closing all your apps so when you open it the next time, they're all closed and you have to reopen them? Very frustrating. There's a fix, and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you use Cody like me, you may be very frustrated by this problem because you boot up Cody, you install your add-ons, you get everything set up, you got your home screen widgets. Uh, I'll probably have some links in the description for, for those um, because there's a lot more to go into there. But you know how frustrating it must be when you turn on your TV to watch something and you've got to boot up Cody again, which on a Fire Stick, maybe non-4K version, it takes a little while longer to, to load up Cody and all those add-ons and stuff. So this is very frustrating. So let's fix it. If you're using a Fire Stick or Fire Stick TV or Cube or whatever, um, anything that runs Fire, Fire TV uh, OS, you may have noticed that there is no setting to turn off the sleep after a certain amount of inactivity. There's a screensaver, but there's no like sleep setting. There is actually a sleep setting, but you can't see it using your remote when you go through the settings. It's kind of like buried in the code of the uh, of the device. But luckily there is a way to actually change that setting and I'm going to show you how. So I actually have two ways to fix this problem. I have two methods. The first one is using ADB link. Uh, and it is a program that actually uh, uses the underlying um, ADB, which stands for Android Debug Bridge, uh, to access settings in the device that are not in the UI, in the user interface, in the settings area. That's the, the best way to do it, um, the, the method one. If for some reason you can't get that to work, there is a second method, which is sideloading an app that will try to, will keep the device alive. And that one's not as nice because you have to keep, if you reboot, you have to open it, the app again uh, to keep it awake. Okay, so let's get started with method one, which is using ADB link. Uh, if you go to Jocala or Joca, jo, yeah, J O C A L A dot com right here, you'll see the downloads page for this. You scroll down right here, right here we have downloads, and you can download it for uh, Windows and Mac and Linux. Uh, so download the one for your computer. So this will run from your computer or your laptop or something like that. You will not do this directly on the Fire Stick or anything. So keep that in mind. Now, one thing you will need to do on your Fire Stick is to go to Settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, and turn on both the um, apps from unknown sources and ADB debugging. Also, uh, the first time that you connect uh, ADB link to your Fire Stick, there will be a pop-up on your Fire Stick screen that warns that something is trying to connect to it uh, and has you um, authorize it to do it. So just keep in mind when you start connecting ADB link, you'll need to grab your Fire Stick remote and hit yes or okay on that. Another thing before we get started, um, while you're still on the Fire Stick, one thing we're gonna need before we start with ADB link is the IP address of your Fire Stick. So what you do is go to uh, settings, system, about, and network. Uh, and that will show you the IP address. You need to look for those four sets of numbers. Uh, that's your IP address of your Fire Stick. Take a note of that, write it down. You'll need it later. Okay, so once you've installed ADB Link, uh, you will open it and it'll look like this. Um, let's walk through it, through it together. So you will not have anything in your select devices, uh, select device drop down. Uh, so you'll click the new button and that'll open up a little pop-up for you to uh, enter the description. So you type the name of your uh, uh, device that you want to call it, bedroom or living room or whatever. Uh, put the IP address of your Fire Stick in the address box and that's what we took note of earlier. Um, and that's, that's it here. So then hit save uh, and then you'll have the device in, your, um, in the list. All right, so you select the device that you added and then click connect. 
So it thinks for a little bit and then it shows up here at the top. So you see Fire Stick 4K in my case, um, and it says IP connection. Now, if you don't have that, um, this is actually the point, by the way, where it popped up on your uh, Fire Stick that you need to authorize your computer to do it. So make sure you do that. Um, if it has issues connecting, sometimes it'll tell you to click the eight refresh ADB button and then try again. Sometimes that helps. Okay, so the next step is to click the ADB shell button. And it's going to open up a little command prompt like this, a little shell window. Okay, so now we're gonna type in some commands. And these commands will get or set um, the settings for either the screensaver or the sleep timeout. Um, the screensaver, by the way, is is accessible. The, so set, those are accessible in the settings area, but the sleep timeout is not. We'll go over both, but the the important part is the sleep timeout. So um, first, let's run some get settings so we can see what our existing settings currently are. So we type in settings uh, get sys system system if I can type screen off timeout and it's currently um, 300,000 which is five minutes and uh, the next one we can type is settings get secure sleep timeout okay and that one is um, let's see 1.2 2 million and that's about 20 minutes um, so right now this the screensaver is turning on at uh, at five minutes and then the device is going to sleep which closes background apps um, in 20 minutes so what we're gonna do is change these so let's go um, now we're going to type settings Put. So instead of get, we type put system screen off timeout. Um, and then we can type 21474600000. And that one is 24 days. But is that is essentially disabling the screensaver. Next, we can... Um, disable the sleep timeout and here's the important one. So we type settings, put secure sleep timeout zero. Now while the 24 days was the setting to disable the screensaver, you can't disable the screensaver with zero, but with sleep timeout, you do disable it with zero. So let's type zero. Okay, and now we can use the up arrow to go through the history of our recent commands. And we can see, um, let's get the screen off timeout. Okay, so that saved. And so this is basically how you can check to make sure the setting was saved correctly. Make sure you did it right. And then let's do get the sleep timeout. Zero. Perfect. So it saved. We're done. Your fire stick will now not go to sleep. It will not, the screensaver will not turn on and it will not go to sleep and crash the app that was currently open. So now on to method number two. If you were able to do method number one, definitely go with method number one. It's, you know, if, if it works for you, it's perfect. Um, it's the best solution. But if you ran into problems, here's a backup solution. Um, and it's basically just installing an app uh, called Stay Alive. Um, so you can see in the post, click in the link in the description to see this tutorial post. You can scroll down here um, for method number two and click this link to download um, the app. So you just uh, click the button here. And once it's done, it'll come up with this, um, the details about this APK um, and then click here to download and it'll download this APK file right to your computer. Then what you need to do is sideload this app um, onto your Fire Stick. So if you got ADB Link to work at all, but maybe just ran into a problem with the ADB shell, uh, then you can use 
um, ADB link to push an APK to your device very easily. Once you're connected to your device, you click uh, install APK and basically just browse to the uh, location of that file you just downloaded and it's going to push it right to your Fire Stick um, and it'll install. So then you'll just see it in your apps area of your Fire Stick. A note about that, once you have that um, Stay Alive app installed, uh, it does it is a little finicky. Sometimes you click to open it um, once and it doesn't look like anything happens. Uh, just so you know, um, I've seen where you click it once to open and then click it a second time and then it opens. Um, and once it's open, you don't really need to do anything. There's a bunch of settings in there that you can see, but honestly, I've never touched it. I just, I just hit back or home to go back to the main screen. And now the app is open in the background and it does its job um, keeping the Fire Stick awake, preventing it from going asleep. So that's it for that one. This is great. I mean, and this has lots of different use cases. Um, again, like I said, Cody, if, when I, when I want to run a Fire Stick for the purpose of running Cody, I want it to just stay open. I don't want to have to reopen it. Um, but this is also many other people have left comments on the post where I describe these instructions. I'll link in the description below if you want to read the full post. But people have commented that this is, has saved them because they were trying to use these um, fire sticks for, for some reason in their business, for um, some screen that they want always on, and they were running into this problem, so this solved the problem. So anyway, I'm glad it's been helpful for a lot of you. I hope, I hope it's helpful for you as well. Um, if you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, smash that like button as they say um, and and uh, hit the subscribe button uh, if you want to see more videos from Kincaid Tech. Uh, thanks. See you in the next one.